Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Mermail Master coming at you from Team Time Rider's Yugi Tube channel. Today we got a special profile with Team Time Rider's Oscar. He's going to be showing us his Super Quantal deck profile. Now, this is a deck that he actually took to YCS Providence and has even topped a regional with. So without further ado, um, do you have anything to say or should we just get right into the deck profile? Well, we can just go right into the deck. All right, sweet. So we're going to go straight with the monsters, all right? Uh, so obviously with uh, Super Quantum, you wanna you wanna have at least three red layers. Three layers um, with three red layers, it gives you the ability to get this free special summon from your hand to the field if you control no monsters. Um, they also have a graveyard effect as well. That's pretty nice. Where when you get to the graveyard, uh, you're allowed to special summon a Super Quantum from your graveyard to the field. Um, it's really good when it comes down using um, green layer um, for the low four. So the next ones will be. Uh, three green layers, uh, super quantum green layers. Um, like I was saying, with red layers effect, you can get the free special summon level four um, into the field. Uh, he's, he's also good because when he gets onto the field, he gives you a free special summon from your hand to the field if it's another super quantum monster. Um, and also, also his effect in the graveyard, you know, discard a quantum card and get a free draw. Um, the next other three card I'll be introducing will be super quantum blue layer. With Super Quantum Blue Layer, she is one of the card that you always want to make sure you you protect. Um, when she's normal special summon, you can find a Super Quantum card from your deck and add it into your hand. So obviously, you will only want to use her for the field spell card. But if you have the field spell card in your hand and you look for any monster that you need from your deck to your hand to um, get the Mega Lord out. Uh, She's also a shuffler, so when she hits the graveyard, she can shuffle three quantum cards from her graveyard and back to her deck. Um, so if you notice where you have like, you know, you have three red layers, or and you have like two each of green and your own blue in your graveyard, her effect will le legit um, pick up three quantum cards from your graveyard and shuffle them back to your deck. So she's really good. Um, Fairy Alphine, Super Quantum Fairy Alphine. Um, He's basically your mascot for your deck. Uh, with him, uh, you when he's normal special summon, you can use. He has two effects. Uh, his first effect, basically, what it does is um, he can change. You can check. Uh, he can select a quantum card in the field, and all that monster that it's in the field becomes that level. But you only you only want to use him mostly for his second effect, and that basically is. Uh, um, you trivia the card, and once you trivia, his effect activates where you can select three quantum, um, th three different kind of quantum card from your deck, and your opponent sele randomly selects one. Um, it's just randomly selected. So it basically gives you the upper hand to mill them to your graveyard or special summon the card that you really need in the field. Um, so that's pretty much. Uh, to Shadal Skomara, some people, you guys are probably going to be confused why Shadal Skomara. Uh, I used to run uh, quick draw because you know what the XYZ you get the free draw. Uh, I didn't like that because if I ever got to my hand where I bricked, I had nothing to defend myself. So a low force should also come out of your opponent won't expect it. So you set it, your opponent most likely is going to attack the like, set card. Once he attacks it and realize what type of monster, his effect activates because it's been flip summoned um, and destroy the target. So that's the reason why you should also come out of. Um, Two Summoner's Monk, as you know, ditch a spell card and get a free special summon. You can go for the green layer and get another free special summon. So that's pretty much. Um, and I actually use Trick Clowns in this deck. Um, Trick Clown basically is really good for this deck, is because when it comes down to spell card, the field spell card, I'm going to explain um, in a while, you can just ditch him. With the field spell card, pay a thousand, get a free, get him back into the field. So you you basically recycle him, and get him up, get him back and stuff. You you'll understand once I get to the field spell card. But yeah, I use him, and obviously, uh, hat tricker. If you if you control two or your opponent controls two, it doesn't really matter. There's two more monsters on the field. You get the free special summon. So that's what I use for him. So just basically a lot of uh, cards that enable rank four as an addition to your yeah, base quantum plays. Okay. Yeah, you just want to take advantage of rank fours, you know. This deck consists on being able to not just go rank four, but being able to summon as much as you can. Um, so your opponents won't be able to... You, well, you don't have an empty field, pretty much. 
um, will get, be been hanged to the uh, spell cards. So this is what I was telling you why I use Trick Clowns, the mech, uh, mech ship Magnus Lair. So as you know, uh, usually in a regular XYZ monsters, you have to have two level fours onto the field to XYZ. With Magnus Slayer for Quantums, you can discard a card and force X or Z, one of your Super Quantum, to its proper beasts. I'll show you the, the beast later, but this is why I use tr um, Trick Clown. You, you discard Trick Clown if you have Red Lair on the field, and you force Red Lair to XYZ to its proper XYZ monster. Um, also, this card also gives you an advantage to pull up uh, um, Great Magnus. With Great Magnus is a uh, you you understand once we get there as well, but this effect it it allows you to X Y C to Great Madness if you had the three beast three beasts in field slash and or graveyard, so you most likely want to protect yourself because of this card. Two emergency teleport. Um, get the free special summon for blue layer and go for the search obviously, um, or the monster you need. One regeki, as you know. Stops all monsters on the field. Well, not stop, you know. This is a self explanatory yeah. card. You gotta run it. It's really, <laughs> really to the point. Soul Charge, get the free special summon from your graveyard to the field. Enables uh, a lot of Magnus plays. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, yeah, you have to take a lot of costs if you notice, because you know, Trick Clown, you have to pay a thousand plus Soul Charge, more thousands, especially with Instant Fusion, another thousand. So you really want to be careful how much life points you take for a special summon. Um, two MSTs, as you know, protect yourself from the back row. Feast of the Wild, level 5. Uh, some of you guys probably don't remember this card. Uh, it's been a while we haven't seen this card. Feast of the Wild basically says uh, you can hand or and slash or graveyard special summon two level, up to two level 5s um, and special summon them on the field. So obviously you want to use that for red layer. So instead of using the field spell card, you can just X Y Z to red uh, Liger. And I think the key to that is it's up to two level five. So no matter it is, yeah. whether you have the red layers in your graveyard or in your hand, you know you can just special summon them out on the field as an extra summon. Exactly. So that's the whole point. Um, Mass change two. Uh, we run water tributes, uh, dark tributes, and uh, fire, but we don't care about fire. So since due to the fact that we run water tributes and dark tributes, you will see why I'll run mass change too. I'm pretty sure you guys have an idea, but that's the whole sort of pur sole purpose. All right, so we'll get into trap cards. So I run two Magnus Slayer. Uh, Magnus Slayer, basically your opponent's, once you have your ma um, great Magnus into the field, your opponents will just most likely get scared and start putting their monster defense. So with Magnus Slayer, it just, Penetrates them. So you have to activate it on your Great Magnus Defense is not gonna be a problem for you. Second, his second effect is basically an OTK So if your opponent has no field and you just uh, no monster to protect himself in your Magnus You pop this card itself and Magnus can attack three times um, This card is not just on Magnus, but any Super Quantum XYZ monster meaning it can be the beast as well So it's that's really fucking annoying um, bottom is trap hole, as you know, don't let your opponent get the free special summon, just destroy and banish it. Um, uh, solid warning, same, same thing as bottom Solid explanatory, yep. Yeah. Uh, banish emptiness, uh, stop your opponent from getting those special summons into the field, so, pretty much what I play. Uh, this is a side deck card, I usually side deck these cards, side and dirge, uh, you know, self-explanatory as well your opponent's monsters um by one yeah pretty much one. uh having i i think uh you know having that field spell um make the xyz's for you releases the trouble of having to um get the proper levels on the field yeah so you know i mean like it stops your opponent it doesn't stop you but um as long as you don't want your opponent to constantly defend himself and all that you want him to feel trapped and like try to like you know try to pop your back row instead Cause and at the moment you're kind of fucked, but yeah, pretty much. Um, now we're going to the XYZs. Obviously, two great Magnus. The fucking towers of all decks. Um, for some people who don't know what Great Magnus effect, what he does. Magnus is a is a 3600 beater. Uh, 
he fluctuates with overlays so if you don't have the overlays you're most likely to get fucked uh he has two or more overlays he can return and he can shuffle any card on the field back to the deck and it's it's basically targeting but then again it's not targeting which makes no sense uh more than four cards uh he's on effect of a card effect if he has more than six cards um your opponent can't search he can't add cards from deck to the hand so that's where he's a problem uh there's magna, magna liger uh it's it, like i said you need the fuel spell or you can you know double xyz to level fives uh so what he does is he's a uh regeki break as you know but he hit the discard one detach one uh destroy a monster on the field and the main benefit is that if you have the quantum xyz material which you always will um, all of the effects that Oscar is going to show you are allowed to activate at any time during any turn. Yep, they only activate during either player's turn as long as they have the proper uh, materials. materials underneath. So if I have red layer, red layer has to be under magna layer in order to be during either player's turn. Um, so Grand Pulse is basically an MST, as you know. So that's really nothing much I can say with it. Same thing as magna layer during either player's turn. Um, Tour Boris, he's basically a Book of Moon. Uh, same thing goes with the other beasts. Just, just let you know before anything. With these beasts, the only way, like, they can't attack if they have no materials. So if your opponent ever decides to attack, make sure you have their. Well, I mean, on the plus side, they're all generic. So yeah, you know, Eroboros itself is like a better May Stroke, and uh, the Grand Pulse is like a better Alu card. So. You know, there are benefits to running those cards. Definitely. Um, a second thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that uh, with the beasts, if you're trying to summon Magnus, uh, Great Magnus, if the beasts are at field and slash or graveyard, and he pops his own field spark card, you can get special summon with the Magnus as long as there's three different materials in the field and, or in the graveyard. So just letting you know that. Uh, so... Obviously, one on one, self explain explanatory. Uh, take one of your opponent's monsters by discard, detaching two. Uh, still, Swarm Roach, uh, you guys probably questioning why. Um, as you notice in the new meta, a lot of people run more more monsters that are involved, the whole fives are higher. So, I like to stop my opponent. Yeah, you can just attack it and all that, but. Yeah, there's a dearth of uh, defensive rank fours in the. Uh meta currently so steel swarm roach can help uh alleviate some of the troubles you may face exactly so uh i use wind up arsenal and mile uh so if you don't want to go with magnus lager and your opponent is just setting cards and getting to the point where i get annoyed about it i'll just go for him because i can just detach one and pop two side cards on the field so he's a really good card when it comes out i don't usually use him a lot but when it comes to that point I enjoy it. He's a 2600 beater, so why not? Trapeze Magician. Oh, why not? If I ever had to the point where um, Great Madness has only three materials and my opponent has nothing protects himself, just go OTK. Detach one, Great Madness attacks twice, and he attacks again with himself. That's game. Um, so, as you know, the Instant Fusion, Norden, really not much I can really explain about it. Uh, and this is where some of you guys might question the mass change too. Like I said, since we're running uh, water t attributes and dark tributes, like Summoner's Monk and Skomaro, I uh, use Dark Law. So I just use mass change too on any of these dark attributes, and I get Dark Law. Um, you know, stop your opponents from <laughs> just banish all his monsters. It's pretty annoying. And then acid, since we're running um, uh, blue layer, blue layer just helps me. I get acid and just pop the back row. If you ever felt feared. But yeah, pretty much this is what I have on my main deck. Um, so we'll get into the side decks now, alright? So this is my side deck, guys. So I run two Stone Fort. Uh, Stone Fort wasn't something I wanted to side deck, but then I realized Red Lair is always on my hand, and you know, I always have this, I already have monsters on the field, and I want to make sure I don't have to tribute my own monster to special summon Red Lair. But, so, I instead, I was like, you know what, just get rid of my opponent's monster, right? So, I used two stone, used two stone fork just for the summon of Relayer. 
uh, Twin Paranoid will, you know, Cosmos, Cosmos, or people just banishing your monster like Cherries. It's, it gets really annoying, so I use okay. that as well. Also Cypher. helps in the uh, side frame Phantom yep. Knight matchup. Got multiple uses. Oh boy, it, it gets really annoying. Uh, two star I rode. If I notice my opponent keeps blowing up more than two cards, like Twin Twisters constantly, or, uh, you know, you notice your opponent Black Roses a lot. Uh, I stop with Starlight Road because with Starlight Road, as I know, you get two Starlight Dragons. Um, I side deck two Starlights for the Starlight Road. Because as you know, with Starlight Road negates and destroys the target that attempts to destroy more than two monsters on the field, and you get the free spot sign of Starlight Dragon. And with Starlight Dragon, as you know, it's just self explanatory and negates activations that involves destroying. Um, so, this one, like I said, you have to be careful on the cost with. With Phantoms, uh, use Curse Seal and Forbidden Seal. Not a lot of people run this. Uh, I use this for against Monarchs. Use it against Domain or use it against their own Storm for. <laughs> they really can't do anything about it. Uh, it's, it's just to the point where you slow your opponent down completely. Uh, I would recommend two Master Restrict, but I'm only running one at the moment because uh, it. I, I feel like I feel kind of clingy about it, but you know, as you know, you're going against Monarch, so anything that boss tribute, uh, this slows them down. Uh, I run two Shadow Prisoner, Shadow Prisoner Mirror, no, Cosmos, same reason, Cosmos. I don't, Stop. Uh, huh? Stop those Dark Destroyers. Yeah, I get another Cosmos, so I was just like, I, they're a huge pass to me. And last one, but not least, two Necro Faces. Uh, as you notice, Cherries is the new meta for this deck, um, in this meta, completely. And Cherry destroys this deck every time someone Cherries my Great Magnus, so it's hard to get him back to my deck once he's banished. So Necroface allows me to, uh, get him from the Banish zones, shuffling him back to my extra deck. So, and he also gains 300 per every monster that gets shuffled back into my extra deck. So, that's practically how my next works. Alright. Uh, anything else you want to say? Any shout-outs? Shout-out, <sighs> shout-out, shout-out. Shout-out to the viewers. Shout-out to uh, Merlin Master uh, for, you know, making this, you know, video happen. Um, that's about it. Shout-out to the YouTube. All right, thanks a lot, Oscar. No this has been the Mermail Master with Team Time Riders. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. We're out. Peace.